Hey, we're going to just have some fun here. Uh, tell us where we are, dude. At Tulsa Expo Raceway. And what's going on here? Is there like some horse show or oil exposition? Racing. What? Well, what race? Are like, we racing ponies, dude? Chili Bowl. Your future's so bright. Is it? Yeah, you're wearing shades. So why are we here today? For the races. Well, what races? The Chili Bowl. Where's the racetrack? Behind you. That's a building. Well, it's in the building. <laughs> I know that. I, let's pr just pretend. You, you and me, we just met. I'm Matthew. Nice to meet you. Let's pretend I'm not Matthew Dillner. My name was Johnny, and I like um, cricket. Hubert Harry Dingle Schmidt. And I'm driving down 21st here, and I see this, like, convention-centered huge building. Like, how would you describe what's going on in here to Harry? There's people that are like, what are you cooking, chili? Midgets. Like, what do you mean? Race cars. Midget race cars. They're racing inside this building. Yeah. It's, it's the biggest midget race in America. You just got to come. You got to experience the fumes, the dirt, the slide jobs. Hey, I'm a fan of slide jobs. That's what you got to you gotta come watch. <laughs> a lot of slide jobs. Slide jobs. Are you a slide job guy? Word. 355 guys doing battle to see who's going to take home the money tonight. To see it live, we watched it on Flow for the last couple years. But it's a small track. Uh, I don't know, nut about racing. You race hard, it's tight quarters. It's the best midget race in the world, right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It is probably the greatest indoor race in the country. Why are we taking pictures, guys, over here with this big old shoe? Y'all shoe salesmen or something? <laughs> we don't We don't have uh, statues like this at home. Oh, the first time whenever we drove by, we, you know, seen the driller and I was like, <laughs> wow, that is big. Tell me what I'm gonna see inside besides shoes. A lot of racing, a lot of racing. What type of racing, man? Midget racing. What are you talking about? Chili bowl. Chili bowl. Chili bowl. Chili bowl. <laughs> chili bowl. Chili bowl. We hit the chili bowl. Chili bowl. The chili bowl. That's like a chili bowl. Chili bowl. But don't you need like chili bowl? Well, we're from Texas. We like chili bowl. Holy, we are at the chili bowl. I mean, this is the chili bowl. We're at the chili bowl. Do you mean screaming? Chili bowl. The Chili Bowl! Chili Bowl! <laughs> What's the party like in this building? It gets a little crazy and rowdy sometimes. You know, everybody's pretty much drinking the whole time. Catalina wine mixer of racing. Ooh! Drinking water strictly, strictly, water. strictly water. Right? No alcohol involved. No out little kids watching this. Just water and apple juice. Yes, right. lemonade. Lemonade. Let's go get some lemonade. <laughs> All right, we're at uh, Tulsa Expo Center, eh? Yes, sir. Yes, we are, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, buddy? I'm from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Uh, I think it's around 1,200 miles or so, but a 22-hour drive for me. But, but you drove? I drove. I drove. I got in my high-top camper van. And my wife, uh, Erna, is working hard as a teacher, and I just, I'm retired, so I had to come down here and do this journey, and it's a bucket list thing for me. First time, been on the bucket list for years. So what made you want to come to the Chili Bowl? Oh shoot, every year we get a party together at the house and get a little bedding pool, build a little pot of chili, and uh, told my wife 10 years ago I want to go, and Christmas she said, you're going, I bought you a plane ticket. And so this was your Christmas present? Pretty much, yeah. And she got a hold of my buddy and said, you guys go have a good time. Oh, my God. All you wives out there, that is the greatest Christmas present ever. Do you have the greatest wife ever? Yeah, she she's a saint, and my friends can attest to that. <laughs> yeah, that's brownie points right there. <laughs> is, is this your first one? Tell me about your chili bowl story. Oh, it's, this is the first chili bowl. My brother's been coming down for years, and him and his wife, Patty, they bought me this. I just retired, so they bought me this as a retirement present. So it's unreal. I, I haven't done much of the midgets in, or anything, and this is shit I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bucket list thing for me to be here to watch the midget, midgets. Uh, we don't have midgets in our area, and I've been watching it on Flow for Flow as a Flow subscriber, and I had to come here to see it. It's uh, Like I said, I'm not much of a dirt guy and never have been, but we're sitting there, and here they come around the track. It's so loud. Got my earmuffs, you know, on and everything. And all of a sudden, bloom, bloom, bloom. I'm getting pelted with the dirt, you know, because we're on roll four right across from the start-finish line. And so coming out of turn four, it's just amazing. And then 
you know, watching the, the flips and one of the drivers that was racing earlier today, he actually had a seat next to me last night. So I was sitting there talking to him. He's trying to tell me how the cars are. You know, hey, they got to run low now because the rubber's picking up in the dirt. I said, rubber picks up in dirt? 22 hours definitely wins the longest drive award, I think. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Unless you had to, like, take a ferry across from, like, the ocean or something. Well, but I had to get the dogs going with the dog sled to help pull me out, out of the snow to get going. <laughs> Come on, bring it down. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. <laughs> But it was fun. Damn straight it was. We are done.